out of Dalville. Had a great night at the Howard Johnson's. Went to Shoney's, all you can eat for dinner. Had some good beers with some good people. And hit the trail again. I coordinated back home to get all my summer gear sent out to me. So I'll have that in a little over a week. Drop some pack weight, which will be nice. Especially coming out of town, the four day resupply of food packs always heavier. So we'll see what today brings. A uh, trail closure from approximately where the Four Pines Hostel is up to McAfee Knob because of the fire. So I'm sure Four Pines is just getting loaded with people waiting to be able to let through. And I've been pretty lucky, man. I got through before the fire started. I got back into the Smokies before the road closed. Uh, my luck so far has been pretty good. Fingers crossed my luck holds out. So this is the first glimpse of the Blue Ridge Parkway, which I'm going to be crossing back and forth over, I guess, in the next couple of days. That was my first... Uh, Big trip on my BMW motorcycle was riding the Blue Ridge Parkway and part of the Skyline Drive. Camping along the way. That was a great trip. So it's kind of nice to revisit the same areas from a different perspective. So they put us over where the uh, overlooks are here. So this is a view of Taylor Mountain. Saw a couple motorcycles go by. Oh, the memories. Well, we just come around the side here and we'll tuck back into the woods. Hobbit's Gap Shelter. It's shaping up to be another beautiful day. There was uh, really no tenting or hammocky space down there, so I ended up sleeping in the shelter. So, didn't get that great of a night's sleep. But uh, a lot of people showed up and apparently they found some camping underneath the uh, bridge because we're right near the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway. But they put the shelters where the water is and the water was right there next to the shelter so can't complain about that. Had my oatmeal and my coffee and I'm ready to go. He's crossing over these waysides. Get some beautiful views. That's uh, Peaks of Otter over there. I don't know what it is with my right foot, but I can never in the morning get my shoelace tied tight enough. Every day I have to stop and tighten it up. And it's not the shoes, because it was the same thing with my previous pair of shoes. So, I don't know, I guess I'm just a spaz in the morning and just can't get my right shoe tied tight. The left is always fine. It's just one of those weird things. But the trail has been really nice today pretty flat. I'm going to get to the shelter that was about 13 miles away and sit there and relax and see if I'm going to be able to push on to the other shelter that's about five more miles past that because it's a 2,000 foot climb and so we'll have to see how we're feeling midday to see if we've got that 2,000 foot climb in us or not. But that's the beauty out here. You just play it by ear. Everything works out. If I don't do it, I've still got plenty of time to get to Galloway or Glasgow or yeah, Glasgow where I'll be going into a hostel for a resupply and then uh, four more days. So I get to Waynesboro 
think I'm probably going to end up taking a zero in Waynesboro because I've got to coordinate getting my summer gear and then figuring out everything I'm sending back. Um, I've also been emailing with Ultra because these shoes already have a hole at the seam in the front. So I'm trying to see if anything can be done about that because they've only got a little over 200 miles on them. So they just asked me where I bought them and I said REI. So they might send me to REI. Might have to deal with REI. See if I can get something from them. But I'm going back to the Lone Peaks. These temps are comfortable, but they're just not durable enough for what's out here. Vegetation is still light enough. You can see all these beautiful rolling hills off to the side. Well, last night I saw a crocket again. I met him, I don't know if it was the first or second day out. And the last time I had seen him was Fontana. So it's just amazing how you just, everybody's like going at their own pace, different, taking different days off, and you just run into people that you haven't seen for weeks on end. <laughs>